Welcome to the channel everyone. Before we get started on today's video, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of what we had going on. My friend Chris, who we also call Stewie, has been looking for a Fastback Mustang for several years now and he finally found one right here in Northwest Oklahoma. Now the guy he bought this car from, his name is Ronnie and I want to give a big thank you to Ronnie. Not only did he finally turn loose of a Mustang that he's owned for over 40 years, he let us document the whole thing. He let us film in his barn and it, that was very nice of him. He didn't have to do that. So Ronnie, if you're watching this, thank you so much. And also before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is actually gonna be a part one on this Mustang. Since we filmed this video, the car has made huge improvements. Chris had it completely detailed and it's looking so good and I can't wait to show you guys the progress on it. So please hit that subscribe button and we'll have another video out on it very soon. But for now, let's roll today's video. Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent and it is a good day today. As you can see, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Me and a few of my buddies, Stewie and Jason, and we brought Jack. We're out looking at some vehicles today and we found a extremely special car. We found a 1968 S-Code Fastback Mustang. It is a 390 four-speed car, appears to be all original. We just briefly took a quick look at it. The guy gave me permission to do some filming, so I hurried out to grab my camera. Let's go check it out. Back here in the corner, look at this. What a special car hiding here. Who would have thought out in the middle of nowhere there was a Fastback Mustang in the barn. It's also got a really nice Crown Vic sitting there and a super nice bump side or dent side four wheel drive. But this is what we're here to see. You're stronger. Oh man, I can tell you that. We're trying to get this shop emptied out. We'll get a better look at this car when we get it out of here, but I kind of want to document where it's sitting, how we found it. So let's see what all we've got. I do know that it is an S code car. In right there 68 model that first eight and then as you can see on your one two three fifth digit we've got an s so that is this should be a th original 394 speed car let's see when the tag was last updated so, looks like it's got a 2001 sticker on it. GT car. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's check out the inside. There you go. <laughs> got a little rifle in here. Four speed car. And I don't know, I'm definitely not a Mustang expert. So I don't know a lot about it. The headliner has fallen down. Bucket seats are in great shape. Oh, man, these are cool cars. Looks like it has had some mice in it. I got a roll of shop towels pretty tore up here. Cool car. Yeah. 
Check out the driver's side. Really nice car. Well, like I said, I don't know a lot about Mustangs, but this one does have a factory tack right there. And it is a four speed. Wow, this is cool. I've never been in one of these cars. Let's pop a hood. There it is. We've got a 390. It does have the carburetor off of it. Wow. See if it's locked. It's tight. <clears throat> That's not good. I think it might be stuck. I know. I tried. Yeah. I tried hard. Well, I don't think that's a deal breaker, but... <laughs> Got some, got some mouse turds down in there. Where's the uh, oil dipstick? Hmm. Well, you see one? I don't. I see power steering. That thing's crammed in there though. Yeah. I do not see an oil dipstick. Stand by. I'm gonna keep looking. What do you think? It's really cool. I can't wait to get it out of here in the sun and cleaned off. I want you to remember this because chances of us ever coming across something like this again are not likely. Yeah. I still didn't find the oil dipstick. And it feels like it might be locked up. Really? Yeah, it, it's pretty stuck. Mm -hmm. Here. That's the power steering fluid. I know a lot of you guys are probably yelling at your screen, but the oil dipstick is right there next to the power steering dipstick that Jack pointed out. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. Here, Jack, have a taste. <laughs> it doesn't look milky or anything. Well, I don't know. And just to be up front with you guys, Jack and I aren't buying this car. Stewie is buying it. We're just kind of documenting it. We will follow this car along wherever it goes from here, but 
This is the kind of barn find that people dream of. I mean, this is this is the exact scenario. Come into an old barn, see some great looking old cars. You're walking in, seeing all the old pickups, and boom, back in the corner, fastback Mustang, 394 speed. I mean, that's just a bonus on top of it. How cool is that? I better help these guys that have been moving all the other pickups out of the way. So I'm going to help them. We'll get everything drug outside and get a better look at the car in the sunlight and get it on the trailer and get out of this guy's hair. We did bring our tire guy, Jason. We picked him up at the Walmart Tire yeah. Center. Spark plug socket. I missed one. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let that dude down, Jack. Suck that down in there. Contact. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it is not locked up. <laughs> That's right. Okay. It's not locked up. No. Nope. Bam. Hang on, let me get some gas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Jack, you okay. went off, bud. Right here. Well, it's not locked up. That's good. I'm going to go help him move this truck so Jack don't run it into the other truck. Okay, Jack, turn that way a little bit. Put on the close of that brake if I yell at you, hit it. Doing good, isn't it? He's good right there. Okay, straighten it up a little bit, Jack. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Getting some sunshine on it now. First time in about 20 years, probably. Yeah. Man, it's handy bringing a tire guy. You sure it's not in gear? You sure it ain't Yeah, it's not in gear and you drink it all. Tire guy's still working hard. Give me that cable <laughs> that camera guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got the car hooked to the trailer now since it was pushing so hard. Stewie's driving. Can, can you see where you're going? I'm out. Okay. I'm a well, here we go. We're going to give it a shot. Yeah, you did. It's free. Wow. Man, Stewie. That thing's freaking sweet.
That dip had me nervous. <laughs> It goes like this. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Yeah. Well, we've never even found somebody that would let us sit in one of these. Well, so far so good. I'm gonna move the tripod cameras over here and we will winch it on the trailer. That thing's awesome. Sixty-eight owners manual. Well, Jack found the one he wants. Looks like we got a '64 Falcon, but it has too many doors. Oh, I seen it turn. What do you think, Jack? You gonna buy this one? Easy with it. You mess that hood up, we'll have to buy it. Ugh. I love these cars. I would like to have one in a two door one of these days. I don't know that we want to mess with a four door though. You got loads of trucks though. Look at all these vehicles. Well, who would have thought you'd drive by an old farmer's house that's got all these old Ford pickups? He'd have a fastback Mustang sitting in his barn. Got an OBS Chevy. Also a long bed. I think that's square bodies actually. Oh wait, is that a short bed? Nope. Yeah. Go, go push. We got everything pushed back in the shop. We're having a few neighbors stop to see what we're doing. And I can't imagine the feeling of driving past an old farmer's house that you drive past every day. <laughs> Tractors, old farm trucks, and seeing a bunch of guys dragging a fastback Mustang out of his barn. Wild. Never in a million years would I have thought there was a Mustang in this barn. So happy for Stewie. I wish I, wish I could have got it bought, but I'm glad Stewie got it bought. I don't know what our plans are for the rest of today. I think we may go wash this thing off and see what we're gonna do. I know we're gonna get some lunch first, but we'll catch up when we're out of here and get a plan for what's going on for the rest of the day.
Stewie's gonna wash all that expensive barn fine dust off. Well, they're playing music in there, so I'm not gonna be able to have the audio on, but I'll get in there and get some clips of that nice barn fine dust getting washed off the Mustang. Cleaned up, at least rinsed off. Man, that's a cool car. Cleaned up pretty good. Especially wet, it looks super shiny right now. What's the plan now, Stewie? Uh, probably chop it up in a million pieces since it's an S code. <laughs> gonna LS swap it? Yeah, LS swap it. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Get it running. We'll get lots of views if we yeah. LS swap this car. <laughs> They're all gonna hate us, but. <laughs> On the lift. Awesome. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. What an exciting day. Jack got some new shades. <laughs> but, man, once in a lifetime, that's a true fastback Mustang barn find. And I'm excited about it. I don't know that we're going to be able to film every step of the way. Stewie's going to take it home tonight and probably tomorrow change the fluids in it and see what it's going to take to get it going. I promise we will give you an update on the car within a few weeks and see how he's coming on it and maybe take it for a ride. I'm super excited to ride in a true four-speed 390 Mustang. That thing's going to be a blast to drive. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because we will be back on the Mustang and more of our content coming too so make sure you give us a like leave us a comment down below tell us what you think about the car maybe if we got some true mustang guys watching tell us did we miss something is there something about this car we didn't see because none of us are actually mustang guys didn't ever think we'd get the chance to buy something like that so pretty awesome yep thank you so much for watching we'll catch you on the next one